y'all. I'm in the camper. Um, y'all haven't seen that. And uh, you're going to get to see more of it because I'm getting ready to get on the road. I'm going to go see my grandbabies. I've been planning it just about ever since I got here. I mean, to Arizona. And it's time. My grandson, Luke, he's almost as tall as me. It's going to be up to my shoulder. And the babies. Oh, my goodness. I need to go smooch on the babies. <laughs> so, I've been saving up for it and planning. And after Sarah left, we got the truck. Tie up loose ends on the truck. And get everything so that I could make this trip and not require electricity or I don't have running water in here but I do have a six gallon jug of water and then I'll have drinking water in addition so um, it's gonna be quite a trip I've never done this before just in the truck and I discovered much to my chagrin that I can't get insured by good Sam or AAA and my insurance on my truck, even though I have full coverage, only has road assistance that covers the first 15 miles. No buying extra, that's just the way it is. So I told them, I said, I guess I'm gonna have to rely on Apple to take care of me. <laughs> so there you go. So um, today is preparation day and I have been trying to prepare heart, mind, mm. uh, my heart and mind. Physically, I've got everything under control here. I've gotten all of this stuff. I've gotten enough stuff that, yeah, I could be gone for two or three months. And just about everything came out of the shed into here. So it's, it's packed pretty full. But, you know, I've never driven across country without everything I own with me. <laughs> so this is going to be a whole new experience. And let's see. Uh, uh, no, I won't be taking my rocking chair. I'm tempted. I told a girl this morning that I was talking to because she couldn't figure out what kind of camper I had. She didn't understand what custom built was. And on the website, you, you get options. And if you don't have, if it's not a camper with a specific brand or whatever, they won't, they won't insure you. So, um, my truck's insured. I'll just have to be real careful when we're driving. And I'm a good driver, so that shouldn't be a problem. So, I know this is kind of surprised to y'all. Surprise! I'm going back east. I'm just going for a visit. October. It's my favorite month and I'm so torn because October in the desert. Man, it's been beautiful. Highs in the 80s. Actually, it's hotter in North Carolina where I'm going. Um, it's in the 90s. But nights are cool and I've got my super fan and as I'm on the road and not so stressed about the initial leaving, I'm driving highway interstate 40 um, east oh yeah west to east <laughs> the first time <laughs> and so um, I am going to try to put in more miles than I did when I came out here in a day so that I don't have to spend all my time on the road but with my grandbabies so um, <clears throat> hopefully you'll get to see my other daughters on the channel and uh, when I get there and visit them and I've got people in North Carolina and I've got people in Virginia and oh the grandbabies I thought the door was going oh it's the fan blowing making the light you feel like you're at a disco Woo, squirrel <laughs> is it strobing <laughs> so anyway here's the first of probably many in the near future um, videos of me with the squirrel report about where I am today and um, with the new camera I might actually be able to get outside but um, 
I just thought I'd do it here because I am so tired um, from this morning's activities. It was not very restful because uh, I was on the phone with Good Sam two or three times, AAA a couple of times, trying to get to a person. And then I ended up calling my insurance company. And uh, so that's the end result. So, okay, here we go. <laughs> I love y'all. Shabbat Shalom. I'll talk to you soon.